Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebble Host. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use Homes with Essentials. So I'm going to go through how to install Essentials, how to configure it, and also how to use it. But this will be mainly for setting Homes. So first of all, of course, go to your server. And then on the very left, scroll down to Tools and click it. It should then open a new tab where you just click Plugin Installer. Once you are here, make sure you click the right version that you are on. If you are on paper, bucket or spigot, both work. I'm on paper, so I'm just going to go with bucket. And then type in essentials in the name just like that and press enter. And then what we'll be using is essentials X. So go ahead and click on it. And then there should be an install button right around here. I've already installed it, so it's not there for me. Okay, so you now have essentials installed. Now go ahead and restart your server. Okay, now that the server is back online, we need to go to the left again and click File Manager. We then want to scroll down to Plugins, click this, and then Essentials. Make sure you click the folder and not the jar file. Once you are in the folder, you will see a config.yml. Go ahead and click this. As you can see, it takes you to a very, very long text document, which as you can see, has a lot of text and it's going to be really really difficult to find homes like that so if you don't want to find a specific word just make sure you click on one of these lines and press ctrl f and then as you can see this new thing pops up and then just type in the word home and as you can see every single time it says home now it will be highlighted so this is the very first thing we're going to do the delay in seconds required between slash home slash tp etc so this one means that you can't do slash home and then do slash home again right after it there'll be a delay for however long you set in seconds so if i set it to three seconds if i do slash home i can't do slash home again for another three seconds if you do want to go ahead and change this just change the number and then click save if you want to make it so when you do slash home you don't teleport for a little amount of time you can change that right here with teleport delay so if i change it to four if i did slash home i wouldn't actually be teleported until four seconds has passed and if I do move in that time frame, then the teleport is cancelled. If we go to 7 out of 42, we can see this. Is water safe? If you did set a home in water and this is set to true, then you can teleport. If you set a home in water and this is set to false, you cannot teleport there. If we go to 9 out of 42, we see this. World home permissions. This means that you can't do slash home between dimensions. For example, if you're in the nether, you can't do slash home and spawn in the overworld. If this is set to false, it means you can do that. If it's set to true, it means you cannot. So here at set home multiple, we can set how many homes each people can do. So by default, people can have three homes. Of course, you can change this to absolutely anything you want. So there is ways where you can make it unlimited, but in my opinion, this is just the easiest way. So just change the default to a very high number. You might also want to change it for VIPs and also staff. Here you can see if that no home is set, it will send the player to spawn. So for example, if you do slash home before you've actually made a home, it will just teleport you to spawn. If this is set to true, it means it will go to spawn. If it's set to false, it means it will not be able to teleport. Here you can make it so that when you die, you spawn at your first home. Just set this to true if you want that to happen. So that is all the config finished. If you, do, if you did make any changes, just go ahead and click save. If you did change anything in the config, you can just go ahead and do slash reload. It asks you to confirm, which you can just do slash reload confirm. It will freeze a little bit and then it will say reload complete. And all your changes with all the config have now been changed. I'm now going to show you how to use the commands pretty basically. So first of all, we have slash set home. So if you do just slash set home, it will create a home right here. And to get here, you'd have to do slash home home. However, if you want to do slash set home, for example, cheese, then you then if you check slash home, which will show you all your home names, you will see slash home cheese. And if we move forward a bit and then do slash home cheese, you see it will teleport us back to there. So that's pretty much all you need to know for set homes. Now I'm going to show you the slash del home command. So slash del home will delete a home. So for example, I can delete cheese. Home cheese has been removed. So now if I do slash home cheese, I cannot spawn there anymore. 
Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to teleport to your friend's houses. So it's pretty simple, you just do slash homes and then their name. And you can see all their homes. So as you can see, 6F2 has set home, home 2 and home 3. Now to teleport to these homes, it's also really, really simple. So you want to do slash home and then the player name. But make sure it has a colon on the end. And then without a space, you want to type the home name. So for example, home. And as you can see, we've teleported to 6F2's first home. Now if we go back, we can add a 2 to the end of that to teleport to his second home. And then if we go with a 3, we can teleport to his third home. Of course, if he had created a home with a different name, we could teleport to that as well. As you can see, I've now asked him to leave the game. However, we can actually still teleport to his houses. If we do slash home, as you can see, his name does not come up. So we've got to put it manually. So we do 6F2 with a colon, and then we can still teleport to his homes, even when he is offline. But anyway, that is it for today's video. In this video, I showed you how to configure it, how to use it, and also how to install it. If this video did help you, definitely leave a like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. Anyway, see you next time.